This is just the beginning of an exciting new chapter in the Batman universe. The new trailer for The Penguin has been released, featuring Colin Farrell in the lead role. This spin-off from the Robert Pattinson Batman movie includes many hidden details. So in today's special episode, we'll explore these details and more. The new series about Arkham Asylum will be part of the Robert Pattinson Batman universe. This is different from another series in the DCU. It might seem confusing, but it's not. In the trailer, we see Arkham Asylum from the Robert Pattinson Batman movie. There are many characters, including new ones and those from the Batman movie. This is one of the major DC events this year. The next big James Gunn DCU movie is not until the Superman movie next year, and the new title is simply Superman. There is also the Creature Commandos series. This will be animated and part of the DCU. The premiere date is not specified, but will be around the same time as the other series. Both animated and live-action DC series will be released at the end of the year. The new series looks promising. It's like a Scarface story for the Penguin, showing his rise to power. Matt Raves, the director, said this series will connect the first and second Batman movies. The events start just a few days after the first movie ended. Gotham is still flooded due to Riddler's actions. The Penguin will be in a power struggle with other mob bosses in Gotham. They are trying to take over Carmine Falcon's territory, and his organization is in chaos after his death. This series will show how the Penguin becomes more like the character from the comics. It follows his journey from being underestimated to gaining power. Penguin sees a chance to rise in Gotham. He wants power and everything that comes with it. One of the big villains in the series will be Salvatore Moroni. He's a major mob boss in the comics. Penguin talks to Salvatore Moroni in the series. Clancy Brown plays Moroni, and he's known for voicing Lex Luthor in many DC projects. Clancy Brown has done many voice roles. He recently appeared in Invincible Season 2 as General Craig. The Robert Pattinson Batman universe has a deep history. In the first movie, Carmen Falcone betrayed other mob bosses using Thomas Wayne's foundation to launder money. Salvatore Moroni was behind the drug trade in the city. Carmen Falcone wanted Moroni's territory, so he framed him and got him sent to prison. Matt Rafe says that Salvatore Moroni has not lost his influence in prison. He will try to reclaim his territory now that Carmen Falcone is dead. Kristen Milioti plays Carmen Falcone's daughter. She is Penguin's love interest in the series. There might be a twist where Falcone's daughter tries to take over her father's organization. This would make her a rival to Penguin. Many people in Carmen Falcone's organization are still loyal to him. They do not want Penguin to take over. Penguin is trying to gain power in the former Falcone organization. He faces challenges from different mob factions. The series will show Penguin's struggle for power. He's trying to become a major force in Gotham's underworld. The series explores themes of betrayal, power, and loyalty. Penguin must navigate these challenges to succeed. It will add depth to the Robert Pattinson Batman universe. It connects the first and second Batman movies. Clancy Brown and Christian Milioti bring depth to their roles. The dynamic between Penguin and Salvatore Moroni will be interesting. Both characters are vying for control in Gotham. The series will also explore Penguin's relationship with Carmen Falcone's daughter. The character of Penguin in Gotham City is a complex villain. He is not meant to be an anti-hero, but a villain you can root for in some ways. The character draws inspiration from Tony Soprano. In his journey to power, the trailer of the show reveals significant details about his rise. In the beginning, there is a shot of a ring on Penguin's finger. This ring represents his rise to power. It is symbolic, similar to the idea of the ring of rulership in fancy stories. Penguin finds a kid on the streets and takes him in. This kid eventually becomes one of Penguin's loyal lieutenants. In the trailer, there is a speech where Penguin talks about Rex Calabrese. He explains to the kid how Rex was a big figure in Gotham City when Penguin was younger. Rex Calabrese serves as a template for Penguin's own rise to power. Rex Calabrese is a relatively recent character in comic books. Introduced during the New 52 era, he is known as the Lion. He ruled Gotham City before being pushed out by Carmine Falcone's gang. Penguin's story in the show is set when he was a teenager. This period is different from his comic book backstory. In the comics, Rex Calabrese is retconned to be the biological father of Catwoman. This change happened during the events of a Batman movie where Carmen Falcone is implied to be Catwoman's biological father. In the comics, Rex Calabrese continues to influence events from inside Black Cave Penitentiary. 
However, in the TV show, Penguin mentions that even when he was 14, Rex Calabresi died from a heart attack with a cigar in his mouth. This moment is significant in Penguin's life. It marks a turning point in his journey towards becoming a powerful figure in Gotham City. There are many questions about his past, especially around the death of Rex Calabresi. Some people think Carmen Falcone may have played a role in Rex's death. Others think Rex might have died naturally. The idea is that Carmen Falcone used this event to take over, making it look like a heart attack. Penguin, when he was younger, joined Carmen Falcone's organization. He started from the bottom and worked his way up. Eventually, he became one of Falcone's lieutenants. This is why you see Penguin with Carmen Falcone a lot in the Batman movie. The show takes us to different parts of Gotham City that were not shown in the movie. Gotham City is very large and has many different locations. In the trailer, there is a scene where Penguin takes his car back in the rain. He uses an umbrella and waddles along. This makes him look like the classic comic book version of Penguin. His limp is explained by a bad leg, which is why he has a leg brace. He also visits the records of his club, the Iceberg Lounge, which is a significant place in the comics. The show takes place right after the events of the first Batman movie. Gotham City is still in chaos, the Iceberg Lounge is damaged. There is a scene where Penguin goes up in an elevator. This shot mirrors a scene from the Batman movie where Bruce Wayne goes to Carmen Falcone's office. This time, Penguin is going to the same office, trying to take over Carmen's territory. Penguin faces many battles with other mobsters throughout the series. He meets with Salvatore Moroni and visits someone in prison, like the Arkham Asylum. There are scenes showing doctors working on a prisoner in the asylum. Throughout the series, it seems like everyone wants to kill Penguin. There are also some updates about the series. Robert Pattinson, who plays Bruce Wayne, was seen filming scenes during the last few weeks of production. This suggests that Batman will appear at the end of the series. The trend with HBO DC shows is that they tend to have about 8 episodes each. They are currently working on several projects, including the Green Lantern HBO show, which may not air until next year or even the year after. This show will be set within the DC Universe, featuring characters like Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart, who are part of the Justice League or its new version in future movies by James Gunn. There's also a discussion about the DC Universe version of Batman, which won't be portrayed by Robert Pattinson. Director Matt Reeves wants to focus solely on telling Batman stories within Gotham City without connecting to other DC movies and characters. This decision allows him creative freedom to explore Batman's world independently. Currently, there are two different versions of Batman being explored. The Flash movie caused some controversy among fans, but director Andy Muschietti is set to direct a new live-action DCU Brave and the bold Batman movie. Many found his work with Ben Affleck's Batman and Michael Keaton's Batman scenes particularly impressive. The casting for the new DCU Batman won't be announced until after Batman 2 is released, now scheduled for 2026 due to ongoing script development. Director Matt Raves is focusing on his Arkham TV series this year, set in the DC Universe, which won't debut until after Batman 2. This timeline means it will be a couple of more years before the Arkham series hits screens as Raves' Batman universe remains focused and contained. There is much potential in Raves' universe including storylines like the Court of Owls and characters like Hush that haven't been explored in movies yet. The tone of this universe tends to be more grounded and realistic compared to traditional comic book interpretations of Batman. However, the upcoming Brave and Bold movie by James Gunn is expected to embrace the fantastical side of Batman. If you enjoyed this video, then please share it with your friends. And don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated with our latest content.